Hi, and thank you for joining me. In this video, we are going to take our first steps into the world of graphs, and we're going to have a look at the features of a four quadrant graph. We're then going to have a look at how we read basic coordinates. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I think it's best that we start by looking at all the basic features of a graph. So here we have a typical graph on a grid. The two lines, well, the first is horizontal, and this is known as the x-axis. The second, the vertical line at the centre, is our y-axis. And you can see both axes have a scale which can differ from graph to graph. You will notice that the zero in the middle belongs to both scales. You may also spot that the numbers on the x-axis are positive as we go to the right and are negative as we go to the left. The same is true with the y-axis. The numbers are positive going up the line and then down below the origin they are negative. And it is these numbers that help us to form a coordinate of a point because that's what a coordinate is. It simply describes a position on a graph. We call the four corners here quadrants, and we need to be careful when we are looking at a coordinate within a quadrant. Let's have a look at the top right-hand quadrant first, because this is probably the easiest one to handle. To read a coordinate, we first travel along the x-axis. Then we go up or down the y-axis. So let's do that with the top right-hand quadrant. Let's say we're going to go along 3. We take a mark from the 3 here on the x-axis, and then we go up 2. So if I mark across there, it has gone along 3, and it has gone up 2. This gives us the coordinate of this point, and a coordinate is always written in brackets and alphabetically x followed by y. So this particular coordinate is 3 followed by a 2 with a comma in the centre. So the coordinate 3, 2 is x and y. Similarly, if I go along 1 and then travel up 5 to a point here, we have gone x is 1, y reads 5, and that's what the coordinate is. Now let's have a look at the left-hand top quadrant. This is exactly the same. The only thing we have to be careful about is that the x coordinates are now minus. So if I were to place a point, let's say here, in order to read this, again we would read along the x axis, so we've reached the point of minus 3, that's our first coordinate, and we then go up the y axis to plus 3. So a coordinate of this particular cross is minus 3 plus 3. Let's mark another coordinate in this quadrant, let's say here. Again, reading it, it is minus 2 and up 1. So minus 2 and 1. Now the bottom right-hand quadrant works in a similar way, except this time the x coordinates are positive and the y negative. So a point, shall we say here, would be x is the value of 2, y is down here at minus 4, so that would be your coordinate 2, minus 4. And the final quadrant down on the bottom left here everything is negative. So if we were to put a mark here, first we travel along the x to minus 5, and then it is down to y at minus 3. So those are our coordinates, minus 5, minus 3. Just one other thing worth mentioning, and I'm going to put the final coordinate here, and let's say I put it here. Now, with this one, the cross is actually on the y-axis. It hasn't travelled left or right, therefore its x-coordinate is 0. And then it has gone up the y-coordinate 2, so we would put 0, 2. And that's as far as we're going to take it this time. Please look out for some of my other videos in which we take graphs a step further. I hope that's been useful. If it has, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you also hit the notifications, you'll get to hear about any of my new videos. Thank you.